Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, I want to get on with those. Can't get on with those because my uh, gas supplier has been let down yet again by his supplier. So, um, desperation and a stroke of luck, right? Uh, I found, I got given some gas bottles, these aluminium things, and it had this old regulator on it. To be fair, I imagine it's probably older than I bloody am. So, I popped to my supplier today, and I got a hose made up, just, just to fit this regulator, because it didn't have a barb. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm right, it means I can uh, find the keys from a shed for one. There it is. Um, I can use a fire extinguisher. And so, let's go see if I can uh, find my fire extinguisher quickly. I just, I want to get these doors finished. It's just getting ridiculous. So, where can we do this? We'll do it over here. This thing don't go off at me. Right. So, I uh, took the awn off. I don't know where I just put that. Oh, I don't know. So the horn's off. Uh, this is, let's say, an old, 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 old regulator. Uh, I suppose I put a bit of PTFE on that. Hello, baby. Hello, you come to check on me, have you? Come on, you gonna say hello? Hey. Go. Hello, YouTube. Meow. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is Clover, my workshop kitty. Go, mate, go find something to do. Yeah, so, uh, lovely cat, found him in a ditch. Uh, a couple of years back, along with a litter of, well, he was part of a litter of six. So, you know, good Samaritan thing. Uh, I kept two. My uh, daughter gave one a home. And uh, my brother came all the way down from um, Hungerford just to pick up three abandoned kittens to give them a home because someone couldn't be bothered. I'm not a cat person. Well, I am. I like that cat. Not really a cat person. So yeah, long story short, that's how come I have a cat. <laughs> he, he is adorable. A few, a few things. Uh, firstly, this will be going on to a, now a well, it was a mix set. This is going to be mag now because um, carbon dioxide is an active gas. It doesn't really matter if you were. Um, if you're buying mixed gas and you wanted like deeper penetration, they give you a higher percentage of carbon dioxide in with the argon. So this is going to be pure CO2, obviously, which means it, they call it mag. Uh, it's just um, metal active gas. Besides that, there's there's nothing really should be any different with running this than running with argon. Uh, the only thing I have got to do is um, put it upside down because there's a tube. At least there's been a tube and the other ones are taken apart to make like heaters out of. So two seconds. So my plan is to get a large 50 kilo fire extinguisher like what you see in this photograph. I've um, been told by a local bloke who services fire extinguishers he has one of these that I can have. And he will refill it for me with carbon Shall dioxide I so regularly. See this. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do this, to be fair. How do I balance this upside down? I got my dirt. Bit of bodgery.
bring you in so you can see my uh, <laughs> genius at work. I think I'll be perfect, I just don't want it falling over on me whilst I'm trying to use it. Clover, what are you doing? Some cat. <laughs> Bit bodgy, but hey ho. Um, what happens if I do that? I don't know, it's kind of error, baby. Clover! What? What are you doing? Bloody thing comes in here to sleep. Oh yeah, you have a clean then, dude. Yeah, you have a clean. Come in here and hassle me, and then bugger off again. Good cat. Right, um. Pressure. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, here's the fucking thing. Down there. So, yeah, we've got pressure down there. Right. Let's make you all feel a little bit seasick. Ugh. Um, actually, I did notice I missed a weld. Just in there. So we're going to weld that up. We got gas. So yeah. Yeah. 
It works. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> Yeah, that works too. Uh, yeah, so thanks guys, take care. See you on the next one.